Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In this video, we are going to talk all about custom post types and we'll also learn about how to register one. Okay, so let's get started. So one of the shortcuts that are available for, especially for the people who are not, who would want this to be done quickly is wphc.com. Now, if you go over here, you will have options to fill in some of the basic information about your custom post types and it's automatically generate the code for you on the right. And then you'll be able to copy that code using this button here. And then you'll be able to just paste that in, let's say your functions.php of your uh, theme or maybe if you're using a plugin then you can put it there and then you can register the custom post type so let's say you want to register a post type called movie so first thing we'll ask you for is the post type name and notice that this is singular so if it's movies then it should be movie okay and then it'll ask you for a plural name and you can put that as movies okay this is your slug which means that in case if you're creating a blog archive page and you would want it to show on a separate URL, you can have something like your site URL slash movies. So I'm going to put that as movies. I would like to keep that as a slug. Then we have description. So the movies, you can put the description you want. Uh, text domain, whatever the text domain uh, is there for your site. My text domain is Aquila, so I'm going to use that. Then you have hierarchical, whether or not this post is going to have child posts. So in my case, I'll set that to no. Exclude from search. So if you go to register post type function, you can actually see these arguments. These are basically arguments that you pass to register post type functions. So see what this exclude from search does. So this means whether to exclude post with this post type from the front end result. And default is the op opposite value of public, right? So. Do you want to exclude from search? No, I don't want to exclude from search. I do want these this post type to be uh, searchable. Okay, publicly queryable. Yes. So publicly queryable means that whether the queries can be performed on the front end for post type is part of past requests. Endpoints include these. Then you have has archive, which means whether there should be post type archives or if a string the archives luck to use. And this will generate proper rewrite rules if the rewrite is enabled. Default is false. Okay. So I do want the archive. So I'll set that to yes. Then uh, whether or not this is public, do you want to show it inside of the UI, show in the menu, show in the admin bar? Uh, can you export this? Show in the nav menu. So you can go and learn more about what are the different parameters and what do they do here. But these are the defaults that are that already selected. Uh, this is the menu position. So where do you want this post type to show in the admin dashboard? Capability type, which means that this is used for the read, edit and delete capabilities. Okay, we'll set that to post language. And then what all does it support? Does it support title? Uh, does it support editor? Excerpt. So depending on what all you want, what you don't want, you can check or uncheck. Is it going to have featured image? So yes, my movies will have a featured image. Will it have revisions? Yes. Will it have authors? Yes. Comments, trackbacks, page attributes, post formats. No, I'm not going to use the post format. Will it have custom fields? Like if you want to add any custom field to this, do you, do you want this post type to support that? So you add all of that. And then whether or not you have registered any custom taxonomies, and if you do, if you did, then please provide the slug of these. Uh, so you put all that information. I'm going to leave the rest of this as it is. Show in REST API to true. So this post type will be queryable by the REST API. So I'll set that to true. And now you can see that it's already generated the entire code for us. And all we have to do is just place this code inside of our theme or plugin. And then it's going to register that. So I'm going to click on copy code. So I'm going to go back to my theme and I've already created a class over here called class register post type. You can see register post types. You can name it as register post types. So you can see that register post type is the name of the class. We have a construct method. We have setup hook method. For now, I'm just going to copy this code and then I'm going to come over here and paste it. Okay. In case if you're just pasting this code in 
functions.php then it's fine but since i'm using the class method i'll use this add action i'll cut this add action from here and then i'm gonna put that inside of the just beneath the actions okay and this function i'm going to move it outside of this protected function so i'll put it here and i'll make it public function public function and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to say this and then the name of the function so it can call this particular function so you can see that it's using the name uh, singular name archive so i think we discussed most of these uh, parameters so one is labels and you have got all of this like name singular name menu name uh, all of this information and that label actually goes inside of the args which is arguments inside of labels uh, this is your label name this is your description that we put uh, what all does it support so if you remember that we had put all of this information supports information so that's all there uh, does it have any custom taxonomies so right now i've just set that to empty so it doesn't have any uh, show in UI, menu positions, you can change the menu position where you want to show in the back end. So you've got all this information, right? So now if you, now we also need to instantiate this class. So I'll go to my plugin and then over here I'll say register post types and get instance of that so that it can instantiate this particular class, load the class. So now I'm going to go to the back end and hit refresh. There you go. Congratulations. You've got the movies. The main thing it's missing right now is the icon for movies. So, and the reason why it's not showing that is because search for icon, menu icon is empty. So we need to put an icon there. You can go to dash icons, WordPress. Uh, you can choose whichever you like, but I'll go for this one. Uh, it's called video alt, but you can choose any others if you, if you like. Okay. So you need to paste dash icons video alt, which is the whole thing from here dash icon video alt once you paste that let's go back and check we'll just refresh the movies refresh and there you go you have movies now so now then you, you can go over here and you can add new posts let's say which is your favorite movie mine is avengers i'll put that content okay and then you can publish it and you can view this as well since it was not showing earlier and because you went ahead and created register custom post type you may want to go ahead and flesh out the flesh out the hg access for permalink so you can come over here and inside of settings permalink save changes and now if i click on the url you can see that we have the avengers showing which is great okay so you can see that menu name is movies that's where the menu name goes right and then name is movie so that's why for plural name is movie that's why you see all movies here it supports different things like title so that's why you have title available it supports editor so you have the block editor uh, excerpt so if you scroll down you have an option to add the excerpt thumbnail so you have thumbnail here revisions so it supports revision it supports author comments track back page attributes and custom fields all right so if you want to check what WordPress is doing in the core and what's happening there for this register post type function, which is basically responsible for registering this post type, you can go into the core. So we have a core file called post.php and it's inside of the WP includes. Uh, do not uh, change this file. This is a core file. But if you take a look, uh, as you can see, it has got all the information. So even if you want to go ahead and look at what, what all each of these parameters do, you can always check that here. So you can see it says, registers the post type and then you can see it it gets the global wp post type variable it checks if it's not an array it sets that as an empty sanitizes the key uh, throws any errors if there are any and it basically instantiates a new wp post type class so it creates an object of this class okay and inside of this, it passes the post type, which is the post type that it passes the post type in case our slug, which is movies. And then it also accepts the arguments, the arguments that we are passing over here. And then it instantiates this particular class. If you take a look at this class, you can see that it takes the name, set the props, passing the arguments, applying filters, right? 
uh, it's got all of the arguments here merges the defaults one with yours sets all the arguments values as per the defaults or what you've passed you can see that's what's happening getting the capabilities adding any rewrite rules if there are any okay so this class basically is responsible for the new post types that you are creating okay adding supports is calling all the methods of this class add supports adding rewrite rules adding meta boxes if there are there are any adding any hooks registering taxonomies in case if there are any right so all of that functionality happens here and if you want to hook any custom functions of yours you can always hook that over here all right so that's what happens under the hood by the wordpress core okay then so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much Bye bye